Hello YouTube, today I'm at Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Plainwell, Michigan taking a look at this 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Uh, this particular Bighorn does have the Sport Appearance Package, which means you do have uh, color matched front and rear bumpers. Uh, this one also has a blacked out grille and black LED headlight bezels. You have um, integrated uh, parking sensors in the front of the bumper. <clears throat> Very nice 20 inch chrome rims. This looks to be a, let's see if I can find the size real quick. A 275-55 R20 Bridgestone Dueler HL. Um, the big note or difference between the black edition and the sport edition, uh, you do not get black uh, wheels and all of your badges and stuff for the most part are still the chrome looking badges and the dual exhaust is chrome as well. Down here you have your RAM badge as well as some plastic splash mold guards uh, to protect against uh, chips and corrosion. This vehicle does have blind spot monitoring. Again, here's the plastic molding to protect against rock chips. E-coated frame, very nice. Coming to the back, we have your LED taillights. Let me see if I can give you a shot of those. There you go. 4x4 badge, the new updated Ram logo, as well as the Bighorn logo. Backup camera right here. Standard four pin and seven pin connectors, as well as your rear parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. And then you do have your classic Ram dual tipped exhaust. Very nice. Coming around to this side, we have your capless fuel fill port right here. Pretty nice looking truck, uh, the sport package is a very, very good package, um, especially if you don't like a ton of chrome. I know this one does have a little bit of chrome on it. Let's take a look at the interior. All right, so on the interior of this vehicle, we're gonna start out over on the left side. We have all of your window control buttons right here, as well as your lock and unlock buttons. In front of that, let me see if this will focus for you. You have all of your mirror controls. Over to the right of that, we have all of the controls for the exterior lights. This dimmer switch is for the interior map lights, and then this dimmer switch is for the gauge cluster. Coming up to the gauge cluster, tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, in this beautiful LCD screen in the middle, which is extremely customizable. Uh, these four corners can be changed to monitor whatever parameters you'd like, as well as this menu bar and this range bar. However, most people keep those menu and range. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped and heated. Over on this side, we have all of the controls for the center screen. To the right of that, we have all of your hands-free call buttons as well. On the right side, we have all of your cruise control buttons and your gear limiter buttons. Now, in uh, FCA fashion, you do have the um, seek or scan rockers on the back of the steering wheel, and you have the volume control on the back of the right side of the steering wheel, which is very handy to have keeping your hands on the wheel at all times. You do have push button start. Um, all of the new Rams, even the Tradesman model, are push button start, which is very nice. Up top, we have a shallow storage compartment with a pen or pencil holder, as well as a 12 volt outlet right here. Coming down to the beautiful touch screen, we have this extremely high resolution uh, Uconnect 8.4 inch touch screen, which is way more responsive than it's been in the past. Um, part of the reason why it's not doing it now is because there is a screen protector on it from um, shipping. You can control uh, the climate from here, which is very nice. And this is also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capable. Um, working our way down, we have the physical buttons for the radio, your volume knob and your tune scroll knob, mute button, as well as your screen off button. So if you're driving at night and there's too much glare from the touch screen, you can simply turn it off. Hazard button in the middle, this vehicle does come equipped with heated driver and passenger seats. Again, here's your heated steering wheel button. 
And then below that, we have the uh, physical controls for the heating and cooling. To the right of that, we have the rotary uh, shift knob, as well as your push button transfer case selection right here. Down here, we have your integrated trailer brake control, which is always nice to have. And then we have your traction control on off button, tow haul mode button, and the parking sensor rear and front on off button. Below that we have your compact disc CD reader, as well as two USB ports, two USB-C ports, and an auxiliary port. Moving this configurable center compartment back, we have a smartphone storage compartment right here, which can probably hold up to three smartphones uh, standing vertically. Below that we have your 115 volt, 400 watt standard uh, power outlet. Working our way back, we have the configurable center console. Um, this is a three position um, little tray, this being the first. Second, giving you just access to the cup holders. And then third, keeping the cup holders out of the way if you have something big in here. Two cup holders, like I said, change storage, and then a little storage tray. This armrest does have storage in it and it is tiered. The first tier is the shallow tier, giving you access to a USB port and a dimple for cord management. The big portion gives you access to the big storage compartment down here. And I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but if you look right there on this little divider, it has the previous generation of Ram trucks, which is nice. On the back of the armrest, Ram gave you some trigonomic ratios, Pythagorean theorem, standard to metric conversion, as well as decimal uh, or fraction to decimal conversions as well. Very nice. Pretty standard cloth um, seats. Two tiered uh, glove box compartment. The first tier you open up right here, and it is LED lit. Second tier right here, standard glove box. Coming up top, you have halogen lit vanity for both passenger and driver. Driver has the three door universal garage remote right here. Up top, you have your dome light buttons. This button right here, I don't know if it's coming through, controls the sliding rear window. And then in front of that, we have your glasses holder compartment. Pretty uh, pretty standard interior, I'd say, for a Bighorn. Um, having the touch screen is awesome. Heated seats and steering wheel is awesome. Let's take a look at the back and see how much. Uh, before I get in, I wanna show you this vehicle does have the um, Ram floor mats included. And you do have in-floor storage, which is slightly bigger than the uh, outgoing model. Uh, open it up right here, I'm trying to do this one-handed. You do have a ruler. Centimeters is on the short side and inches is on the long side. And again, this is removable, so if you put ice or get that dirty, you can take it out. Um, seats do fold up, giving you access to the flat load floor. Uh, with these new 2019s, there is no longer a transmission hump and the cab is four inches longer. Getting in real easy. We're up and in. Now, I'd say I have a solid 10 inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. Um, I am 5'11", if that helps anybody. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders with some cutouts to hold a tablet. So if you have uh, people in the back and you wanna keep them entertained, they can plop their tablet in right there and they'll be good to go. You have a storage compartment right here for a regular sized smartphone. I don't think a plus sized phone will fit in there. Uh, two USB ports, two USB-C ports, as well as another 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. You do have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And you do have hanger hooks on both passenger and driver's side. There's your halogen dome map light. Pretty basic interior. Uh, you do get a ton of room in here, however. Let's uh, take a look at the bed of the truck. Here's the bed of the truck. Uh, to open it, you just come up and there's a button right here, push it, and it is assisted and it is also extremely light. Uh, you do get four tie downs at the bottom portion of the bed. 
I believe all the hinged components on this vehicle are uh, aluminum. That means the hood, the doors, and the tailgate. Uh, take two fingers and close it. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. Here's the window sticker on this vehicle. Uh, this is again a 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn Sport Crew Cab 4x4. The base price of this vehicle is $42,240. All of your standard equipment is right here. The optional equipment starts here and continues over onto the next page. This vehicle does include a package value savings of $2,300, which is included in the Level 2 Equipment Group, bringing the total price of this vehicle to $53,135. Fuel economy ratings are right over here. This vehicle is rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. Now a lot of people see total price or MSRP on my videos and they kind of freak out. Um, yes, $53,000 is a lot of money. Um, however, most car companies, especially Ram, do a really good job at offering uh, rebates, discounts, and incentives to get you into their vehicle. Um, it all just depends on when you buy and what you qualify for. Um, at the time of filming this video in the middle of May 2019, um, I've seen five to eight grand easily in rebates. Um, just when the salesman ran just uh, my employee discount and whatever else I qualify for, I think I got 7,500 just off the bat. Um, so you can definitely get this number down. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to get it to around 42, but you should definitely get it to maybe mid to high 40s, I would say. I'd like to thank Ziegler, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Plainwell, Michigan for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough on this vehicle. If you're interested in a new 2019 Ram 1500, I will leave all the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.